Hello and welcome to DigiTips. Short tips, tricks and tutorials brought to you by Kari Jensen, Adobe Certified Instructor. Okay, so what we did in the previous podcast was generate all those duplicate buttons. And they really are duplicates of the original coffee bug, which was a smart vector object. And I, to, I can actually get inside that smart vector object by double clicking the coffee bug here in the layer. I'm clicking on the thumbnail. And what that will do, that will actually open Illustrator again, and it will show you that coffee bug that we've got there. Now that is not the original Illustrator file, that is actually the embedded file. So it doesn't really compare to the links palette in that Illustrator and InDesign have got because the difference is that in InDesign and Illustrator, the links are to external files. In Photoshop, this is actually looking at this Illustrator component nested inside this smart object layer. I can edit this. I'll double click on the bug to get into isolate group mode in Illustrator. And we will select the wings and I'll just change the colors of them so I can show you what actually happens if I edit this. Now, don't do a save as at this particular point because that way so the link with the embedded smart object in Photoshop would go out the window. Don't give it a different name. Literally just use Control S or Command S on the Mac to save this and then close that Illustrator file and nav navigate back to Photoshop. And guess what? Wow, this is really cool. What it's just done, it's not only updated the original coffee bug, but also its duplicates. And that is really what I wanted to show you with this particular very short tutorial. Now, just jumping back to that auto select layer again, I didn't mention that in the previous podcast, but you can also use it to hold down the shift key and automatically select multiple layers. It's like clicking on objects as you would in Illustrator or as you would in InDesign. I really like that. The other thing is if you say, well, that bug up the top there, I don't like that anymore, just select it with your auto select layer in combination of the move tool and hit the backspace or the lead key to get rid of it. Can't make it any easier than that. 